What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you my World War II USMC impression. Specifically, I'm trying to do an Okinawa impression. Obviously, it's still a work in the progress. I still have a lot to get and everything, but here's just I guess the basic kit right here that I'm working towards the rest of it. So, let's get into it. So, starting off here with the P41 uniform. It is a reproduction from Soldier of Fortune. It's a pretty good reproduction. I'll leave the link in the description below. Starting off with the P41 top. The shirt has the USMC with the anchor and the globe. And here it says US Marine Corps on all the buttons, obviously. And not really too much to say about it. I think I have a video on just this uniform. Next, moving on to the trousers. It's just same shade, obviously. It has the two pockets in back, pocket in front. And it also has a watch pocket there. And button fly with the USMC buttons. I stenciled my name on the waist. Next, the trouser belt. This could be a army trouser belt, I'm not positive. I'm not sure if there's really a difference. And moving on, I have two white t-shirts. One of them is brand new and the other is very aged. I went a little overboard on it with some coffee, but I guess it works. And just seeing this part, I have the P-41 uniform. It looks dirty, it looks like it's been through combat. Next, the 782 pack. It is an at the front reproduction. So I'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, the same with everything else so that I can, I'll leave it in the description. But it's the 782 pack and has the T on the shovel on it with an at the front shovel cover. This was just some cheap reproduction shovel that snapped. So I put a new handle on it. You can see that's why that one's the, just a different color, but it works. Next, moving on down here, I have USMC suspenders from at the front attached to an original World War II US Army cartridge belt. By late war, you could start to see Army cartridge belts on Marines. It was getting pretty common. But anyways, attached to the cartridge belt, I have the Pattern 1 canteen cover and the Pattern 2 canteen cover with a at the front bayonet and a Carlisle bandage so here I think I have it's a 45 dated canteen with a 41 dated cup and a 1918 dated canteen with a 44 dated cup but moving on I have the M41 jacket on Okinawa it was a little bit chillier I guess so you can see original pictures with Marines wearing the M41 jacket so that's why I have it here here I have SM wholesale rough out boots I know the rough outs and not boondockers, but they work for now just to show what they would have been like. Eventually I'll get a pair of boondockers, but for now I have these and some USMC leggings. Up here I have my M1 helmet. It's an original front seam swivel bale with an at the front restored M1 helmet liner and at the front chin straps with a USMC helmet cover with no slits. So, next I have my M1 rifle. It is a Denix, as you know, but it's all under a army blanket, I believe, so I'll have to get a USMC blanket. For now, I just have this army one, but I'll put it all on and show you what it looks like. So here, I have the uniform on. I have the grenade right here. Let me do a quick turnaround, show you guys all of it. So obviously it's not complete, but it's a pretty good start. And I think that pretty much wraps up the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed.